T minus three minutes, 30 seconds. The main engines are in the start position, T minus three minutes and counting. Starting the LO2 ET tank pressurization. And preparing to retract the gaseous oxygen vent arm, or the Gox beanie cap. TLT OTC, clear, caution and warning, memory, verify no unexpected errors. as part of that operation. T minus one minute, 30 seconds. Now suppression water system is armed. Solid rocket booster joint heaters being deactivated, going into a final check of solid rocket booster commanding. Joint heaters off. Oxfil and drain valves are closed. Flight data recorders for the SRBs activated. Payload bay vent doors closed. Three minus 31 seconds. The handoff has occurred to Space Shuttle Endeavor's onboard computers. Jane armed. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, go for main engine start. 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, and liftoff of Space Shuttle Endeavour, expanding the International Space Station while creating a classroom in space. Houston now controlling the flight of Endeavour. The space shuttle begins its journey back into orbit. Endeavour rolling onto the proper alignment, heads down, wings level for the eight and a half minute ride to orbit, taking aim on the International Space Station for docking on Friday. 30 seconds into the flight, the three liquid fuel main engines will soon throttle back to 72% of rated performance in the bucket to reduce the stress on the shuttle as it breaks through the sound barrier. This view from long-range trackers, now from a camera on the external fuel tank showing the bird's eye view of Endeavour heading towards space. 54 seconds into the flight, Endeavour already eight miles downrange, standing by for the throttle up call from Capcom, Chris Ferguson. Endeavour, go with throttle up. Go with throttle up. The throttle up call acknowledged by Commander Scott Kelly, joined on the flight deck by pilot Charlie Hobaugh, flight engineer Rick Mastracchio and Tracy Caldwell, Dave Williams, Al Drew and Barbara Morgan seated down on the mid deck, Morgan racing towards space on the wings of a legacy. One minute, 30 seconds into the flight, Endeavour 
currently traveling almost 2,000 miles an hour, 14 miles in altitude, 15 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. Three good fuel cells, three good auxiliary power units, three good main engines. Endeavour flying straight as an arrow, one minute, 55 seconds into the flight, standing by for solid rocket booster separation. Booster officer confirms staging, a good solid rocket booster separation, guidance now converging. Endeavor's onboard computers commanding the main engine nozzles to gently swivel, aiming Endeavor for a precise keyhole in space for main engine cutoff. Two minutes, 25 seconds into the flight. The propulsion officer reports the orbital maneuvering system engines have ignited, providing Endeavor with a kick in the pants for the next minute and a half, assisting the shuttle and its crew on its climb to orbit. Endeavour 40 miles in altitude, 59 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, traveling more than 3,400 miles an hour. Three minutes into the flight, Endeavour 75 miles downrange. Traveling almost 4,000 miles an hour, 47 miles in altitude. Coming up on the point of negative return where the shuttle will be too far downrange, too high in altitude to return to the launch site in the event of an engine failure. Endeavour currently 135 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, flying true. Endeavour, negative return. Negative return. Passing four minutes into the flight, Endeavour more than 60 miles in altitude, 160 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, traveling 5,000 miles an hour. All systems looking very good. The environmental systems officer reports a good flash evaporator system has been activated aboard Endeavour, providing cooling for the avionics until payload bay door opening. Four and a half minutes into the flight, 63 miles in altitude, 200 miles downrange for Endeavour. Coming up on the five minute mark into the flight, Three good main engines, three good power producing fuel cells, three good auxiliary power units, Endeavour clean as a whistle. Endeavour, press to ATO. Press to ATO. That call from Capcom Chris Ferguson indicating that even in the event of an engine failure, we can make our minimal orbital altitude targets. However, all three, three main engines continue to function normally. Endeavour currently traveling 8,000 miles an hour, 67 miles in altitude, 300 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center.